Hey you guys, this is Author of Liberty. I wanted to share a little uh, kind of kind of religious message with you today, just about how how I felt like I, I've been helped out with stuff before. Um, goes back uh, several years. I was starting my degree. I'm an engineer by trade, and I was a freshman. I had one kid on the way, and <clears throat> the city I was living in had basically nothing for a schooling I could get. I was, at this point, I was doing all my school online, and those classes were quickly running out. And so I knew we had to move. And so, um, I, I prayed a lot to try to figure out how things would go, where, you know, which school should I go to, where should I get a job, you know, help me find an apartment, that sort of stuff. And it was really kind of hard because I was basically, you know, I was, I was quitting a pretty good job, moving out of a cheap apartment to a different city, starting school. That can take that. That can be a very daunting task, and so oh, I would drive out. Um, it's about a three or four hour drive out to you know the, the city to where all the schools were, and, and I'd go out there and I'd kind of look for apartments and then fit our family, look for work. Um, I I made up uh, like resumes and and like cover letters customized to basically the different areas of work. And, and I was mailing off, you know, applications and resumes, just trying to kind of get a job to land to out here. And so, and it was really, 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 really frustrating because, you know, the, the harder it feel like I'd pray and work at it is the more it seemed like nothing was happening. Um, I'd get the occasional job interview. I wouldn't hear back from them. Uh, just, I, I'm, I'm sure that I, there's some people watching here that can probably relate to that. Well, anyway, what kind of my message is that I think that, that sometimes the, the Lord kind of holds us back until the time is right or the opportunity is right. And so... This went on with me for quite a while, and then finally, um, I, I drove out. I, I went to a job interview, and this is my this is several interviews later. But I went to this job interview, and it just I just knew it was perfect. I felt like the interview went amazing, and I was I was sure I had the job, and I just absolutely at this time just felt that it was absolutely right. And as soon as we left with that, I, I opened up the classifieds there. We drove right to some apartments. And we found a, a beautiful, big apartment for what we could afford. And we put a deposit on it. And everything within an hour or two just clicked into place. And few weeks later we were living out in that city and I was getting ready to start school out there and I was working full time and had a great job and after working there for about probably about a week I get an email in my email box my personal email and it was from one of these other places that I had interviewed at and they wanted to know if I still wanted a job and had I gotten that email earlier, I would have absolutely done it. I was pretty desperate. But when I got the email there and I looked at where I was, I was just like, wow. I, I was so just grateful that the way was hedged up and that I didn't get calls back and I didn't get the interviews and that the interviews went bad. And I'm glad that it happened that way because it put me in a situation where that, you know, that job led into, kind of modified into my self-employment through school and this and that. It, 
it was such a huge blessing and and we were able to make ends meet and I was able to get through college and you know have my wife stay home and raise my kids and it was just it was a great blessing and so you know I, I just encourage you to just if you're out there looking for work or looking for school or whatever just make the Lord a part of it and keep working and keep working and keep pushing against that rock and when it's time when it's time for it to happen um, it'll happen and just just keep that faith and anyway so thanks for watching my videos and uh, this is author of Liberty bye bye